What is up, everyone? So, kind of odd. Um, as I went to record the first 30 minutes of Metro Last Light, my uh, capture card decided to crash, and that's the second time it basically crashed. And what happens is that basically it, it it's weird. Like the whole picture becomes distorted, and it's all rainbow colors and everything like that. And uh, I went to my friend's house, uh, dropped off a, a birthday card for my friend's best friend. I I brought wait. wait. I dropped off a birthday card for my best friend's best friend. Did I say that right? I think so. So, um, and I also uh, uh, went running. All right, so I got a little bit of a, a workout in there. But now I'm back a couple hours later, and I just booted up my computer, and now it works fine. Oddest thing in the world. But we're going to boot this up, stop wasting time. It's only going to be about 20 minutes, all right? it's not. right? I'm not going to do a full 30 minutes because I'm actually on a tight schedule today. Um, I'm kind of, kind of, kind of, kind of busy. So let me lower that. I am on a, on a little bit, in a little bit of a hurry. So it's only going to be around 20 minutes this time. That should be more than enough to, uh, you know, see if you want to get the game or not. So, <sighs> but I played. You probably get. You guys missed like the first 15 minutes, and uh, so far it's really good. Like I love the atmosphere. You'll see in a sec. I'm playing this with a gamepad. But yeah. Um, in terms of gameplay, I mean, I haven't really ran into some enemies. I've just done some training. But, like, the gunplay works a lot better than the first game. Like, everything just feels a lot more uh, refined. So, anyway. Here, I'll show you guys the, the options so you can just get an idea. Here's basically my settings. Hi... This is just everything, all right, guys? So, basically, it's the game, 1080p, high settings, getting about a good, I would say, 40 frames per second around there. So, we're just going to continue. Just a year ago, I stood on top of the and like I said, this is like the first level of the game, all right? So, this isn't like, you know, gardens. a little ways in. There's no spoilers, really. This is just like within the first 30 minutes. Nobody and nothing could this is basically, this whole video is basically like the first 30 minutes without the first 10 minutes of that video. So it's like 20 minutes. Now my mission is to there you go. And eliminate it to finish what I started. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. This capture card's weird. Like sometimes, most of the time it works, but when it doesn't work, it's frustrating. And then all of a sudden it'll work again. It's like the weirdest thing. Actually, I contacted support because I wanted to get another one. And, there, and as soon as they replied back to my email, they are like, uh, it was too late because the capture card already worked, so... Alright, well here's, in terms of settings... As you can see, this game's gorgeous! Look at the detail! Like, even look on, look on your mask, and look at look at the, the light and everything like that. This game's gorgeous! And right now it's pushing my computer pretty hard, I would say. I don't know why the frame rate's kind of iffy, it wasn't like that before. Head on in and look for the creature. I'm thinking that since the dark ones are yeah. so fond of you, but this game's so gorgeous. I'm getting dust all over. I can't. S <laughs> See, like little stuff like that's pretty awesome. You can wipe dirt off your mask. Look at the rain effects. I mean, the game just looks gorgeous. If you have a choice of platform, I would say get it on the PC. I did hear that the PS3 version has a lot of screen tearing in particular, so that might be the worst version. I'm not sure because I haven't tested out that version. I'm just uh, paying attention to reviews here. And it's getting pretty pretty good reviews overall. Now this weapon I have right now is actually a... Um, can I jump on this? This weapon I have right now is actually a uh, pre-order bonus that I got from GameStop. So I, it was either this or like the standard assault rifle and I said this one had better specs and actually attached a scope to it. This is gargoyles from the side. Alright, this isn't going to be like a rerun of last time, guys. <laughs> You're, it's, I'm not going to be screaming here. How? I'm not going to be screaming here. But, um... Jeez. All this is radiation, that's why it's like that. Yeah, I mean, look at the DirectX 11 effects on the water right here. What is that? Oh, well, you can. You can melee. They just went in the dirt. <laughs> you know, oh, they're, they're huge sand crabs. Maybe they're, they're like... 
huge sand crabs that got mutated because of the nuclear fallout. Oh no. Jeez, these guys are fast. Alright. Those were my first enemies I encountered in the game. By the way. Those look like... They look like uh, just like a re... A remodel of the la the ones from the first game, and, and as always, I mean, look oh god, well that scared me. <laughs> okay. Yeah, the shooting mechanics are really are way better than they were in the first game. Oh, hold RB. There we go, yeah. They changed the whole thing now. I can use med kits. Yeah, but just take a look at the... I mean, look, you have tessellated hair, and then, and then the teeth are actually tessellated, so they're rounder and sharper. Um, so, just a little bit of extra stuff. I mean, most of you guys are probably going to get this on console, but um, you might want to see a difference in terms of graphical power. So that's the purpose of this video, I guess, why some of you are going to watch this. Go left, there's no way around, but it's... They want me to burn my feet. Alright, but yeah, the whole controls just... It just controls a lot better. Got a dead guy here. Oh, he had a filter, nice. It actually tells you how much time you have left until you need to switch your filter, which is a huge, huge improvement. Oh, it's a big sand crab. <laughs> oh, I got it. Nice. All right. I think I see it. About 30 meters from your position. Two o'clock. There. Yeah, they're not. They're not harm. They're not harmful. So, but they're harmless. Come on. Oh yeah. See, like right away, I just enjoy the graphical style. It's gorgeous. I mean, yes, it's post-apocalyptic, but everything's just so well crafted. I mean, look at that. That's not just a wallpaper, it's an actual vine that's growing on stuff, and that's just... I mean, look, there are actual, uh... Saw that. I'm just saying, like, the attention to detail in this game is pretty damn good. And if this is any indication of what the next generation is going to be like, or even an improvement based upon this, then I'm really excited for it. Do I go in this thing? It wants me to go in this thing. Jeez. Yeah, I mean, look look at the uh, lens flares, too. This thing is fast. Yeah. Some of you might wonder, okay, what about the difficulty? Because the first game was really hard, you know? And that was a, a turn-off for some and also a real positive for others, alright? This game has a, a normal mode. And then the Ranger mode, which the Ranger mode is actually a, um, a uh, you know, a limited edition exclusive, which I'm giving away. Check out the giveaway video if you want to look at how the game was meant to be played. <laughs> but this is the normal mode, and so far, I mean, they started me off with three weapons of my choice. I actually got to choose which ones I wanted. Three weapons of my choice, and I actually got to attach stuff. So, I, and they gave, gave me a pretty good amount of uh, cash. What's this thing? Oh my god. Whoa. Yeah, there's this new, there's this race, I guess, from the first game. They're called the Dark Ones, and they nuked, they basically nuked them to death, and there's this one survivor that we found right now. So, that's what we're looking at, the one surviving, uh, they call them the Dark Ones. And your character, Archium, uh, has the ability to telepathically communicate with them. See, there's a group of them right there. And there's some people who believe that they're, like, here's, I guess, a flashback from the the end of the last game. Aha, uh -huh, and that's how he survived. So, yeah, but your character, Archium, can communicate with them. And some people believe that 
they were uh, meant they are sent down to kill us, and others believe that they just wanted to communicate with us. They didn't mean any harm. And what's this? They got him, but who is this? Still war. Good morning. Oh. Well, they're definitely not on my side. <laughs> so. <laughs> This game has a bigger emphasis on stealth as well. Um, that being said, you can actually shoot out lights and turn off generators and you can sneak around in the dark. And yes, I know I skipped that, but yeah. This is all this is all told from a Russian standpoint. Oh my god, it's disgusting. You see that spider? That huge spider just crawled over his head. That is disgusting. Oh, they think they're mutants. I, I have the volume on low, so I can't really hear. I'm just reading the subtitles. Ah, uh, so they're scanning them. Oh my god, this is disgusting. Oh. Spiders, like, everywhere. Ooh, look at the particle effects. Uh, right now, I'm running it on the tessel the tessellations on high, and also the uh, the physx is on too. So, and the only complaint I have with the game so far, and I'm sorry if I'm talking over him, but I'm just you know, oh he they found a they found an abomination, <laughs> or, or something changed. Ow! All right, but as you can see, I don't know if you really can see, but right now there's so much screen tearing going on. If I turn on vertical sync, I lose like 10 frames. Like I don't think my computer can handle it, but at times there's just so much, so much screen tearing going on. So that's like my only complaint. And right now I'm running the NVIDIA 3.20 uh, or 3.20. I think zero beta drivers, the newest beta driver for uh, this game, to be optimized. And who's this guy? I don't know who this guy is. But here we have you, but yeah. Lights, and the freak. In terms of uh, atmosphere and presentation, phenomenal job. Just phenomenal job. Excellent graphics. Whoa, whoa! Ooh! <laughs> uh. Yeah. Alright, so we're getting out of here. I don't know who this guy is. You keep the knife. Keep it. I guess this is the part where they introduce us so, to stealth. Uh, it's gonna be Turok order. style. I pick up this guy's gun? No, it's somehow fused with his hand, and I am unable to do that. Alright, so we're breaking out of here. Ух ты, ты смотри. Remotely controlled lock. One thing's for sure. Our only chance. There's a remote over here. See this? What did they say about the garbage shoot? Uh huh. And we open this and we can get out this way, right? There's an invisible wall. Oh, that's because he's supposed to go over there. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. Yeah. Here we go. Okay. Let's get our asses out of this place. Then we'll go our separate ways. Huh? Oh, sliding. Can't see anything. Oh, all right. See the pipes? This is their contingency plan. There's a riot. Jeez, throw the whole bodies down here. Turn the prison into one big gas chamber. Sucky. Sure, learn from their predecessors. Yeah. But look at if you if you might if you might notice. Look at the fog effects as he walks through them. This is just an example of physics. See how they move. The fog. I heard rumors of a concentration camp here, but oh, the phone's ringing. Which, thankfully, someone's There's a tunnel there. on the other side. Okay. Tunnel. I lead, you follow. But yeah. Keep it quiet. What I will say is this. I played the first Metro, and in terms of the beginning, this one has a much more interesting story going for it. They are your best friend. Yeah, see? Pushing the fog away. This one just seems it's. I'm, I'm much more interested in the storyline than I am in the first game. I'll tell you that. And I don't know if this is because this game's new or something like that or the gameplay, but 
So far, I'm enjoying it. And I usually don't care for survival horror games. So, if you're looking for a shooter that's actually interesting, and you know, you're just in a mood to get a new game, this is a pretty good choice. I'd say this pretty much satisfy you if all you've been playing is Bioshock Infinite and you want another shooter that's story driven like that. So, nice. I can't go up there. I guess he's gonna come around. There's another invisible wall. I can't go past this point. Oh, he dropped the ladder, okay. Now listen. Pretend you're a little fucking mouse. Get down. Don't make any sudden moves. Well, let's move. Carefully, huh? That's a big facility. Okay. Move! Follow me. Fiona is infallible. His ass is in my face, that's nice. That's a cool lighting effect. Okay, you take the right one, I the left one. I will distract mine, then you take yours down. Understand? When I picked up this game, the guy, the, the clerk at GameStop is all like, Yeah, dude, I think you and me are the only guys who bought it on PC, so... It's kind of funny because you'll see the comments on YouTube. Take him out. You see the comments on YouTube, and they're all like, "This is a PC game." Yeah, the majority of sales come from console versions. Knock him out or kill the opponent. I'll knock him out. Ooh, I'm a nice guy. All right. Just gonna take him out. Oh, he killed him. All right. Oh, they hung people here and everything. Yeah. Excellent lighting effects. I mean, look at the lens flares and everything. It just looks excellent. There's this guy here. No! This guy's looking straight at me. What do you want? What are you doing? They released gas. The guards spotted you, released gas, but they don't have gas masks either, so they're perfectly fine. Okay, you take the right one. I the um, left one. Okay. I <laughs> yes, because Stay. guards would release masks or, or gas without the use of gas masks. That guy did not have a gas mask at all. Okay. <laughs> Hey. Oh, he took him out like immediately. He throw a knife or something. So I don't know if I'm supposed to wait for that guy or what. Unscrew the light bulb. Unscrew the light bulb. Or right here. Huh. Just an example of stealth. I think it's cool that they, you know, they put it in there. I mean, I'm a stealth guy. I really do enjoy stealth. I don't know how they noticed me before. Yes, release gas without the use of a gas mask. Fantastic. <laughs> Alright, it's my first time at stealth. Give me a break. Okay. No, you guys like, oh my god, you don't know how to play the game. Yeah, I don't know how to play the game. I played a little bit of the first one. Didn't find it too uh, engaging. You know, maybe after I beat the, this one, I will go ahead and play the first one again. Or try and beat it. Alright, let's take our time here. Get as many of them as you can. Unscrew the light bulb. I have to get over there. See that ladder? So this guy has to move. Try 
you go to that oh, we took him out. Maybe nice. We'll be able to climb up. Let's meet on the top. Food. Hey, some water. Break a leg. As if we'd waste any on Knock him out. <laughs> Same animation. Wow. Okay. I expected more. Open the locks. There's oh. a panel in the guard room. In the guard room. What do you mean you release? Um. Is that radioactive? <laughs> Just looked at him and somehow saw my son. And that trader from Hansen kept pestering me. Yeah, there's excellent effects here. I mean, the water. I mean, look at the water. Or no, that's actually. Is that a hole? I, I, I can't even tell. That's a hole. Alright. I'm ready to share. It's too much for me alone. Just don't tell the overshuffle. Yeah. I got 200 bullets out of it. I would pretty much say get this game, if, if you want. If this looks uh, appealing to you, you know, a story-driven, post-apocalyptic, you know, first-person shooter with an emphasis on stealth and some survival, then I would say go for it because it's it's actually pretty engaging. I'm actually surprised, to be honest. I did not think I was going to be this interested in it, but I can see myself playing this for hours at a time if I'm pretty hooked. So they did a good job. Ow. We got throwing knives. That's new. Throwing knives by pressing right bumper. Collect notes. Ooh, another throwing knife. Yeah, this is one of those games where you're, it's like Bioshock. You're going to want to explore and do everything, so. Hey, was it. Uh, hey, what the. Hell? Wow, that was really. <laughs> I thought I was crouched. We had it bad. Shh, shh. So. Don't guess as if they hear you. One moment. This guy's dead. How'd he die? I don't know. Well, maybe one of these guys got him. Give me a gun. Silence pistol. Oh, this is the gun I created. Look, it's a revolver with a silencer. Yes. 1609. It's my time. Alright, guys. Well, I'm going to stop it there. I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a close look. Sorry I couldn't be longer, but I'm just pretty busy today. So, I'm going to play this game uh, through the weekend, and uh, hopefully I'll beat it. And uh, if you're friends with me on Facebook, I will have a review as soon as I beat it. So, thank you guys for watching, and have a great day. Bye.